This is the Gomaluku podcast. What does Article 6 say about an independent grievance mechanism? Absolutely nothing. Um, as if you if you take it literally, independent grievance mechanism. It says independent grievance process, which is different. And let me explain a little bit why. But before but before I do that, it, it just before the text actually only referred to grievances that could be um, yeah, submitted to the superior body. Um, so if the superior body makes a decision, you have a problem with that, um, or the, you have a problem with the implementation of the activity, you can go to the superior body that actually approved that decision um, and file a grievance. Well, that's a huge conflict of interest. So in terms with, um, yeah, access to justice, uh, or in line with access to justice, in line with uh, these people's right to, well, I think it's Professor James Anaya in his report on extractive industries said that these people should have access to um, uh, free, impartial, direct uh, uh, grievance mechanisms. Um, I think it's, it said it's, uh, in, in his, his report on extractive industries. He's, he's several of them, but one of them said, said that. Um, that is that, that's why we wanted to have an independent grievance mechanism in there. Um, it got added to it at the at the uh, two days. Well, yeah, day one day before. Uh, uh, no, in the in the final iteration. Uh, so not the final text, but in the final iteration, final draft. And but it it got changed into independent grievance process. Around the table, in the negotiations, a lot of parties said we want to have. In the independent grievance mechanism. So probably as some kind of a compromise, uh, parties uh, said uh, accepted independent grievance process. So because it was added at the last final moments in the last minute, um, it was yeah it got reduced to independent grievance process. So now reads, and this is my quick interpretation of it, um, that you can you can appeal um, you can appeal decisions of the superior body. Uh, but there's also an avenue that you can tr- that you can travel um, in terms of yeah seeking redress with a independent through an independent grievance process. So there's like instead of like having one independent grievance mechanism, it goes two ways. It goes one you go uh, you can have a um, um, you can appeal a, a decision of the superior body at the superior body, or you can go through an independent grievance, mo- grievance process. Huge, comp- still a uh, conflict of interest. And also just a question I asked is, well, how do you see it? How do you see this, this superior body deal with all these activities and to approve or disapprove all these activities and also deal with all these grievances? Um, it's yeah, very burdensome and a lot of parties agree, but um, unfortunately it did not get re- reflected as we wanted into the final text. Um, so it is, it is something that we have to, uh, to deal with. And that is why in terms of activity design, uh, we need to have this safeguard. You know, so grievance is at the back end. It's at the end. It's at the end of the process. But also on the front end, we needed to have a, a yeah, a a strong um, filter or a threshold, which is in our view free prior from consent. You know, so which is before the fact. The grievance is after the fact. Um, so. Hence, the, the, the why we positioned our, our key priorities as such in the, um, yeah, in, in the activity design of 6.4. My friends, I hope you enjoyed this. Please consider to subscribe, to comment, and to share this video on your socials.